Here in the Northern Hemisphere, winter has well and truly set in, unfortunately. Not always a bad thing though, and if you embrace it, it can actually be really fun times to ride in. So today I've got some great tips to how to winterize your bike and your kit to make it a little bit more comfortable. Right, before we crack on, why not hit the old like and subscribe button to get more winter riding action and see us riding in that slop all of the time. Anyway, let's dive on in because at first up, it comes to tire choice. Now, summer tires and winter tires are very different things. So in the winter, it's gonna get all sloppy. Those dry, dusty trails are gonna to turn to mud and doom and gloom. So a more aggressive tire with a wider spread out tread pattern is gonna be ideal here, preferably with some slightly higher profile knobs because this is gonna be great for cutting into the mud, but also shedding the mud as well. Now, a lot of people ideally would switch out the front and the rear tires, although you can get away with sometimes just switching out the front tires so that you've still got that most grip possible on the front end. If you switch out the back as well, well, be warned, there might be a little extra drag and a little extra weight going on because of the bigger, chunkier tire. But that is a trade-off for having that extra grip and ability to shred the mud all the time. It's also worth noting here though that if your trails that you're riding aren't just pure mud and slop all of the time, they're very rocky and rooty as well. Some kind of intermediate might be ideal here. That's why I always kind of go for the old Vittoria Mazza here. It's sort of a fairly aggressive tire, quite widely spread, but it's a fairly soft compound as well. So it really works on all conditions. If I was to go to pure mud, then a more spiked type tire would be the one to go for. Right then, mudguard tech. It's not really something you think about, but over the years, mudguards have actually come on a long way. So things like bolt-on mudguards are now a thing designed specifically for certain forks out there. And let's face it, if you are riding in the winter, a mudguard is an absolute must. So check out this bad boy. This is almost like a full-on motocross style mudguard. Attaches fully wraps around the wheel so you get as minimal spray up as possible. There are of course different versions of this. I have a slightly shorter version on my bike here. There are sort of more basic plastic versions as well and there are obviously uh, rear ones which you can use as well if you don't want to get sprayed all the mud up the back and things like that as well. It's really useful just for keeping that vision clear, stopping you from getting quite soaking wet and covered in mud as well so you can stay out and ride just a little bit longer. Well worth the investment. We all know that the winter time means muddy rides. Muddy rides means more cleaning. So anything you can do to make cleaning your bike and your life that little bit easier, well, it's got to be a good thing, right? So something like this, a silicone based spray, silicone shine from Muck Off in particular, this one here, you actually just spray it on your bike and it sort of leaves a film, a coat on your frame and other certain parts if you like that stop the mud sticking as easily. And then when it comes to cleaning, it just falls off a lot better as well, making your life quicker and more simpler. However, I will warn you, any products like this are lethal on brakes because it can contaminate the discs and the pads and they ain't gonna work. So do be careful when getting trigger happy with the tin. Right, this next one, it's stolen from the motocross world. It is moto foam, essentially a high density foam that the guys in motocross would jam in certain areas all around their bike to stop mud packing up and building in. Now mountain bikers, they started doing the same thing and it can be really helpful for banging in little nooks and crannies all around sort of your linkages and even up under the steerer tube and things like that. And what it's gonna do is just stop extra weight being added to the bike and also packing in, like I said, around those nice bearings and bushings and grinding them away. It's quite a nifty little idea and one that I definitely wouldn't discount. All right, people, look, I'm dodging the rain at the moment. It's not started just yet, but it is forecast. And when it does, I tell you what, I'll be straight back to the van to put on a set of waterproof trousers. Waterproof trousers are a bit of a godsend when it comes to the really wet rides. You know what? They just stop you from getting that wet ass. You are not really uncomfortable the whole time. You can just peel them off at the end of the ride and be clean and dry underneath. I reckon waterproof trousers are a seriously underrated bit of winter kit and actually you can even get waterproof shorts i know that sounds a little bit crazy because it's still going to run down your legs and to your shoes but actually just to keep the spray off of your lower back and your butt is still an ideal thing because let's face it if you've got a chamois on and that thing gets soaked it's an uncomfortable feeling Right, wet lube is the one for the winter so you've washed your bike you've cleaned it down it's looking all spangly and good you gotta keep that drivetrain running smooth. So using a wet lube, switching to this in the winter, 
I would recommend, let's put it this way, the rain, the dirt, the grime, it's gonna find it harder to wash the actual lube off and it sticks a lot better to the drivetrain itself, keeping things running smoother for longer. I mean, look, Mokoff even tell you here how to wash your bike. So look, you go through all the processes, you've done your silicone shine, and then look, at the end, you apply your lube. It's gonna prolong the life of your drivetrain. It's gonna make the ride smoother, more fun, easier, and that's gotta be a winner, right? Look, make sure you add some to your toolbox. This next bit of winterization, if that is a real word, I'm gonna make it a real word, is part of your kit list. And it should be, glasses. Yes, look, when you're going out for winter rides, it is gonna stop all the spray. If you've forgotten your mud guard, like myself, I have done that in the past, then you've got a backup set of glasses. They're gonna keep all the mud and the water and the rubbish out of your eyes, especially if it's raining when it's even worse. And they're gonna go one more than that, actually, let's face it, the winter's a little bit fresher than normal, so you're gonna get teary eye, and no one wants to get all emotional going down the trail. So that'll actually stop your eyes watering it as well. Honestly, a great addition, and you can double up because you could get some tinted lenses for the summer. So, you know, you don't just get glasses for a season, you get them for life. But anyway, I tell you what, that is me done. That's winterizing all your kit, hopefully getting you prepared for what is coming ahead. Let me know if there's anything else that you would add to the list in the comments down below. But for now, well look, I think glasses on, so I'm gonna go for a ride. See ya.